Hello friends, in the previous video I have discussed second normal form and we have discussed the basic idea that is if you want to a table to be in second normal form then it should not have partial dependency. Now what is partial dependency? We understood when a non-prime attribute is dependent on some prime attribute that is instead of depending on that entire candidate key if a non-prime attribute depends on some part of a candidate key now that is a case of partial dependency and second normal form do not allow what partial dependency now let me make one more thing clear that apart from partial dependency for example if a non prime finding another non prime or if a non prime find another prime attribute then it doesn't matter so apart from partial dependency second normal form allows every other case bus kya nahi hona chahiye partial dependency Take, so don't get confused whether uh, this dependency allowed or not this dependency allowed or not every dependency is allowed what is not allowed that is partial dependency what is partial dependency when a uh, you know non prime attribute depends on a part of a candidate okay, now that is partial dependency okay now today we'll discuss third normal form and we understood uh, when a table is already in second normal form then how to convert it and how to take it into the third normal form so if a table is already in second normal form there is no concept of what partial dependency now if a table is already in second normal form and you want to make it to third normal form then now we'll deal with what transitive dependencies so today we'll understood what are transitive dependencies how to identify whether a dependency is transitive or not and if there is a transitive dependency then how to eliminate it and how to convert your table into third normal form now let me discuss the basic idea of third normal form with the help of an example okay let me consider a relational table r for example uh, with four attributes a b c d and let me take a functional dependency like this from a b to c and from c to d okay now uh, like uh, we have done in the previous uh, questions many times now let me first check what is a key now you see here a and b are essential attribute because there is no incoming edge on them and if you don't if no other attribute can find them then you must have them from the starting so let me check kya a b key hai is a b a key with a b i think i can compute what or find what c and from c i can find what d then from a b i can find what a b c d now that is for sure a b is a key now a b is a candidate key and as i told you earlier if a b is a candidate key now you can say a and b are prime attributes and c and d are non prime attribute don't confuse them with pnnp problems now ab is a prime attribute and c and d are non prime attribute why because ab candidate key ka part hai and c and d are not the part of candidate key fine now let me check there are two dependencies from a b to c and from c to d now if you want to be in third normal form first you have to be in what second normal form so you first have a look because we have already discussed second normal form you tell me is this table in second normal form let me check there are two dependencies first is c a non prime attribute yes c is a non prime attribute it is not a part of any candidate key but is this ab a prime attribute means is it a partially dependency answer is no why because cb is depending on entire candidate key that is ab it is not depending either on single a or single b so that is not a partial dependency second let me check now c to d kya d non prime attribute hai yes d is again a non prime attribute surprisingly c is also what non prime attribute now if a non prime depending on another non prime now that is not partial dependency because in partial dependency we say what a non prime attribute should be depend on a part of a candidate key but c is not a part of any candidate key so this is not a partial dependency and hence we conclude that this table is already in what second normal form okay but now you understand this another major problem what now here c is a non prime attribute and even if it is finding another non prime attribute now it is a clear cut case of transitive dependency 
Now, what is the transitive dependency? You understand when a non prime attribute finds another non prime attribute. Now, that is a case of transitive dependency. And third normal form do not allow what transitive dependency. So, there could be two definitions of third normal form. First, let me say like this a table is said to be in third normal form. First, it must be in second normal form. And second, it should not have any transitive dependency. Koi bhi transitive dependency nahi hona chahiye. Or I can say directly a table is said to be in third normal form when it cannot have or when it do not have what the partial and the transitive dependency agar partial or transitive dono nahi hai to table kaun se normal form mein third normal form mein but now you understand that a b is finding c and c is finding what d now that is a clear cut case of transitive dependency okay now let me discuss what actually the problem i have with this scenario means okay that is okay that is not in second third normal form but what is the problem you have if that is the case now you understand this thing uh, for example, here you say AB is a key and if AB is a key, then AB promised that I will find everything. Then from AB you find C and from C you find D. Now you see, there is no problem with C. Why? C is entirely dependent on candidate key. That is okay. And as I told you in the previous video, uh, a single A becomes null or singly B becomes null, but A and B both cannot become null. So it is for sure that a primary key never becomes null. And if a primary key do not become null, then you are sure that you will find the value of what C. That is okay. But when you say A B is a key, you are promising. आप किस चीज़ का promise कर रहे हो कि आप C और D दोनों का value find करने वाले हो. But instead of directly finding the value of D, what you are doing, you are finding the value of C and then C says, okay, I'll find the value of D. Now that is a problem. Why? In this bargain, in some area, kya C kabhi null ho sakta hai? Haan, C null ho sakta hai. Why? Because C is a non-prime attribute. And if C becomes null, then how the hell you'll find the value of D? And the promise which AB made, ki okay, main hamesha, or I'll always find the value of D. Now that promise will do not hold. So now you understand this point. AB instead of finding D directly, finding in a transitive fashion. And how AB say I'll find C and C say I'll find what D. But there's no guarantee that C will survive here or C will stand here every time. Because C is a non-prime attribute. And if C becomes null, so does your promise that you will find D. Because if C becomes null, then you cannot find what D. Now that is a major problem. You cannot allow this. Again, you understand. If this table is not in third normal form, then how to convert it in third normal form? In, in this entire scenario, who is a problem? C is a problem. You see, C up in Neta Bandra, C want to become a leader and C say what? I when I am a non-prime attribute, I'll find another non-prime attribute. Now that cannot be allowed. And if you want this table to be in third normal form, what you, you should do? do uh, you should make C a leader. Agar wo neta banna chato, usko neta bana do. Kaise? Now, again, let me decompose a table. Let me have a table R1. And again, like the previous case, pehla table sirf kiske liye banate hain? C ke liye, A, uh, sorry, key ke liye. Aur yahan par key kaun hai? A, B. Along with the key, kaun kaun saath mein aa sakta hai? Only those attributes who are entirely dependent on key. Let me say, yahan pe kaun aa sakta hai? C, no problem in that. But if C want to find anything, kya usko yahan pe aane ka bhi allowed hai? Nahi, because C is a non-prime attribute. Now you cannot find anything if you are a non-prime attribute. So I'll not allow anything. So let me have one more table. And in this table, let C becomes key. And C finds what? D. So C neta banna chata tha, humne usko neta bana diya. Now C is a leader. And in this particular case, I have no problem with C because C is now not a non-prime attribute, but C is a prime attribute. And if C is a prime attribute, now C can find anything. I have no issue in that. So now, conclusion of the story you understood. I am not discussing the entire idea now. What I am saying, what is third normal form? A table is said to be in third normal form if it do, either it is in second normal form and it do not allow what the transitive dependency or you say directly a table is in third normal form if there is no case of partial and transitive dep dependencies. Partial we have already discussed earlier when a non prime is depending on some prime attribute but it should not be a key, it should be a part of a key. 
Now what is transitive dependency? When a non prime is depending on another non prime. So the problem was that non prime was system on the whole system. It was part of it. Now the problem is that non prime is dependent on non prime. What is the problem with this problem? The problem is in, if in this scenario sometimes C becomes null which it could be because C is not a prime attribute or C is not a primary key. If C is null then you will not be able to find the value of D. That is a problem. So I cannot allow this scenario. So what I do? I decompose the table into two different tables where from A, B you find C and then let me have an independent table from C I find what? D. Now there is no problem in that because in the second table now C is also a candidate key. So there is no issue. So now you see table 1. Do it have a partial dependency? No. There is a key. There is a non-prime attribute C. <coughs> No, there's no there's a non-prime attribute C which is depending on what the entire key A B is it, it does this table contain some transitive dependency? No, there's no non-prime depending on another non-prime. Free second table is it in third normal form? Yes. Why? There's a single non-prime attribute depending on what prime attribute. There's no case of partial, no case of transitive dependency. So now I conclude the argument by saying yes. Now the table is been decomposed to what third normal form. I hope you understand the concept. Uh, let me uh, tell you one more point. You make a note of this. In this video also, I have only concentrated to explain you what is the idea of third normal form. But two major issues. Another, uh, you require a lot of practice to identify directly, directly that uh, whether a table is in third normal form or not. And let me tell you de deliberately. I am taking those examples here which contains only one candidate key. Sometimes the scenario becomes very complex when a table contains more than one candidate key. In those cases, there is direct method how to find directly whether a table is in third normal form or not before checking it is in second normal form or not. You can directly find third normal form. How to do that? We'll understand when we'll discuss a number of practice problems in the upcoming videos. Okay.